Okay, to get started, we're going to sign up for a free Trailhead account. Now, if you already have an account with Salesforce Trailhead, you can go ahead and use that for this course. But if you're brand new to Salesforce or have never signed up for a Trailhead account, I do encourage you to sign up for an account. Now, that will give you a free developer edition of Salesforce. And so regardless of what course of mine or others you may be taking, don't let the word developer hang you up at all. Salesforce provides these accounts for free so that you can learn how to use the platform either as an end user, a developer, an administrator, consultant, etc. So simply fill out the form and select the role that you play here. And one thing to note here is that it really doesn't matter what you select as far as what sort of Salesforce instance you'll receive. Salesforce just wants to know how to peg you for their own marketing and follow-up initiatives. And so if you're learning how to be an administrator, then they will send you stuff related to that. If you're an aspiring or studying developer, they will send you information related to development opportunities on the platform. And so I'm just going to select administrator for this and enter in my information in the form in order to sign up for the account. And then you want to enter in your email address. And if this is your first time signing up for a Salesforce account, you can use your username as well as your email address. And so I'm going to enter in my email address. Like I mentioned for your username, enter in your email address again if you don't already have a Salesforce account. Another quick note is your username can be different than your email address. It just needs to be in the form of an email address. And so ideally you want that just to be your email address, but it could be, for instance, my email at example.com.salesforce, for instance. I'm going to click the checkbox confirming that I agree to the terms of use and then click sign me up. And then what I need to do is I need to check my email. Let me show you that. So it says thank you for signing up with Salesforce and you can click here to verify your account. And it shows as well the login for future reference. You'll go to login.salesforce.com but you want to be sure and click verify account. And that brings you to this screen. And then you see that the password has to be eight characters and contain one letter and one number. So as you type your password, it'll check what all you've fulfilled for the new password. And then you answer the security question. You've got different options there. And so once you've answered that, you can click the change password button. Then click change password. I'm going to save the password. And now I'm logged into my new free Salesforce developer account. And so now we're logged into Salesforce in the new Lightning Experience user interface. In the next lecture, we'll look at how to log in from a URL and also how to switch between Lightning Experience and Salesforce Classic.